Okay, today we are going to discuss about a uniform load. And there are two types. Ano? We have this one is kilonewton per square meter, and the other one is kilonewton per meter. And we're going to try to convert this kilonewton per square meter to a load of uniform load of kilonewton per meter. So here, example, we have a flooring. We have a slab. This is the slab. Or probably this is, this may be made of floorboard or tang and groove. Ano? Pwede floorboard or tang and groove. It can also be made of concrete uh, slab, concrete slab. So this will be our slab. Ano? Say, assuming this is a floorboard. And it is loaded by a live load of 5 kN per square meter. So, this slab is being uh, carried by the joist. And the joist is also being carried by the beam. And, the, and if you're going to see to this section, from this section, on this side section, this will be, okay, the figure. So we have here a joist here, joist, 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 and another joist, and this is the slab, or the, the floorboard. And on top of your floorboard, it has a, 5 kN per square meter loading. Now, first thing first, uh, we're going to find out uh, the load being carried by a single joist. So here, the distance of the joist, center to center, is 0.4 meter, 0.4 meter, and 0.4 meter. And that distance can be converted into tributary distance, like this. So one half of this spacing and one half of this spacing, one half and one half, it is also 0.4 meter, the tributary distance. Also, yeah, 0.4 meter. So the beams uh, is, uh, is not shown. I didn't show it anymore, okay? So this is your tributary distance. Then if you're going to look at the, at the floor plan here, so here is the floor plan. We have a joist here. Okay, here. And this joist is this joist. And this joist is this joist. And this joist is this joist. And on top of that one, where, uh, we have a floor load of 5 kN per square meter all throughout the flooring. And I have marked the tributary, uh, tributary area this one is 0.4 meter and tributary length is 4 meter. So here, 4 meter tributary, uh, tributary length and your tributary distance is 0.4 which is equal to your joist distances. Okay, so here I mark it with a red color. So this is your tributary area. So here I have written tributary distance equal to joist spacing. So here, we have a 5 kN per square meter all throughout. So we're going to try to convert that one into its equivalent load of, of a equivalent load of kN per square meter. So here, we have W is equal to kN per square meter. You're just, you're just going to multiply this by your joist distance or your tributary distance. Okay, so here, 5 kN per square meter multiplied by 0 0.4. So you're going to have a 2 kN per meter. So the load being carried, the uniform load the being carried by this particular joist is 2 kN per meter. So what is the importance of that, ano, of that uniform load? So you can now calculate the moment on your joist here. Uh, calculate moment on joist. So this will be your joist, which is 4 meter. That is, uh, here it is, your joist, which is the length of 4 meter. Okay, 4 meter. Now you have a uniform load of 2 kN per meter. Then, so to find the moment, just remember your formula. Moment is equal, or simply supported, moment is equal to WL squared over 8, where your W is your uniform load. And your L is your uh, uh, joist length, okay, over 8. 
So, 2 kN per meter multiplied by 4 meters squared or over 8. So, you have a 4 kN meter moment. So, there. This is how you convert your uh, your uh, kN per square meter to uniform load of kN per meter. Okay?